Welcome to the Australian Sailing Rescue Tutorial video for wing foiling. Foiling is rapidly growing at clubs across the country. With this growth come extra safety precautions that you need to be aware of, especially when acting in close proximity to the equipment or in rescue situations. With many of the foiling classes, the sailors are generally used to being in the water and self-sufficient. Both learn to kite and learn to wing courses place a high importance on self-rescue. However, there are still plenty of times where your club's safety personnel and coaches may need to provide assistance. There are some general principles that do need to be adhered to when working with all the foiling classes. Before we get started on each specific discipline, let's go over a few of the things you do need to be aware of when it comes to foiling equipment. The foils are sharp and fragile. Avoid touching any part of the foil or mast to prevent contamination, especially the very sharp trailing edges. Don't kick your legs around when in the water next to a foil or board. Always rest the foil on the ground and on a soft surface when it is attached to a board. Never turn your board over when launching until there is sufficient water to prevent grounding. This includes allowing for sinkage when you stand on the board. When returning to shore, do not run the foil aground. Step or jump off in sufficiently deep water safely. Never place foils near the sails in the boat park and avoid putting a kite foil downwind of a kite. Ask for help to attach the rig to the board if you are in danger of resting the foil on hard or sharp surfaces. Simply put, damage or contamination to a foil can actually increase the chance of an unsafe crash and injury to the sailor. When coaching from a rib, it is important that you have the standard safety equipment as normally required. However, when coaching foil classes, there is extra equipment that you may want to consider. Always ensure that you have life jackets and a kill cord, your standard first aid kit, radio or other appropriate form of communication, fully charged, tourniquets and an inflatable boot. A good example of this is the first aid kits that are carried by the NACRA class. Today we're going to cover three scenarios that you will likely encounter while coaching foiling classes. The first scenario is going to be for general assistance, either for communication or coaching purposes. The second scenario is where the sailor is injured and may require first aid or to be detached from their equipment. And the third scenario is a situation where there has either been gear failure or the breeze has dropped and the sailor will require assistance to get themselves and their equipment back to port. General assistance or coaching. If the sailor requires assistance, Ensure they are aware that you are about to approach. Approach the sailor slowly and ensure they are on the downwind side of the coach boat. The sailor should be holding the front handle to depower the wing. You may even grab it off them to assist them getting on the coach boat. Keep the wing on the downwind side of the boat at all times. When the sailor is ready to leave, have them remount the board on their knees and slowly use the wing or paddle away from the coach boat on the downwind side. Rescuing an injured sailor. If you think the sailor might be injured, try to confirm with the sailor that you're about to approach. Follow the same approach as mentioned earlier, remembering to slow down to neutral before you get to the sailor. Assist the sailor on board the boat and assess the situation. If first aid is required, it is important there is a nice clear space in the boat for you to treat the sailor. If urgent assistance is required, abandon the gear, call for help and head home. Wind drop and gear recovery. We will now look at what to do if the sailor becomes detached from their equipment. For the wing, ideally approach from the upwind side of the equipment. Slowly approach and get ready to grab the front handle or leading edge of the wing. If you are going to pack up the wing, release the deflate valve which is usually found in the center of the leading edge then simply roll or fold up the wing and stow it somewhere secure in the boat where it will be out of the way but also safe. To recover the board, approach from upwind slowly. Try to be nearly stopped by the time you grab the board. Secure it against the coach boat and slowly roll it up so that the foil comes out away from you. Secure the board and foil so that the board is just inside the tube of the rib. Secure the foil by holding the fuselage or the main board.
keep the foil secured on the way in and stop if you lose control. If you have any more questions or queries about the content that you have seen today, please get in contact with your general manager.